Got my Magnum boots on. They work very well in this kind of environment with the whole uh, system they got there. That uh, I think it's the Omni. What is it? The Omni something. What the system was? I'd look that up. Omni dry or something maybe. Keeping my feet very warm and these are not even uh, I don't even think these boots are <coughs> snow boots at all but they are very comfortable and they work very well keeping my feet warm and dry and uh, real good I like them they work very well comfortable as hell too There's a cucumber. Yeah, it wasn't Omni Dry, it was technology really works on these things and uh, these are these are geared towards law enforcement and first responders but I think they make a heck of an outdoors boot as well so uh, I really recommend these boots good stuff magnum boots Man, do I have a lot of boots. Desert boots, jungle boots, duty boots, backpacking boots, rubber boots, work boots, hunting boots, a lot of boots. 
Hello folks, well I guess this is the uh, review you guys have been waiting for. Uh, it's the one I uh, introduced briefly uh, uh, during that Skype conversation with the US and ER doc a couple of months ago. It's, well, it's almost a, well, almost a year ago, but a few months short. But, um, well, I've been, uh, I've been wearing these boots um, since then almost every single day. Uh, as you can see uh, from the uh, videos in the introduction, uh, I've been all over the place with these. These have been to <laughs> different countries as well. Uh, but um, these are the Elite Force 8.0 WPI boots by Magnum Boots. And uh, as I stated before, these are primarily uh, aimed at first responders and uh, um, law enforcement and, and EMS and rescue personnel. Um, I don't think they're in regulation with the military, but people who are in the military, you might, you might uh, let me know about that, because um, they do kind of look a little uh, space age, and uh, I don't know how well that fits into the military thing. Okay, so I, saw, uh, I said this previously in my video too that these boots uh, make great outdoor. Um, kind of hiking boots as well and and they really do I really enjoyed my uh, winter walk uh, in these and uh, I uh, usually go day hiking and when I do I, I put these on as well so they work fine for that and fine for uh, all that other uh, great first responder kind of stuff now the boots are uh, full grain uh, waterproof leather uppers and they are impregnated uh, with some kind of a polymer called an ion mask hydro management technology uh, which makes it very very waterproof and uh, breathable as well uh, that's always a, a factor that you have to think about when you get waterproof stuff are they uh, do they allow your feet to breathe and uh, this technology did allow my feet to breathe and so uh, I was nice and toasty warm on, on uh, cold days and cold nights and uh, I demonstrated the waterproofing uh, in my video where I was uh, playing around in a stream like a little girl um, and I also uh, walked with these boots when you saw my beach scene uh, I didn't film this but I actually did walk with them in salt water on the beach uh, in Sweden as well and they held up to salt water uh, as well now these boots have a uh, dual density polyurethane uh, midsole and the whole bottom part here is also uh, made out of a durable kind of composite non-metallic hardware uh, which uh, means that you can walk through metal detectors uh, without setting them off and that's a good thing because I uh, I have to work sometimes in a in an EOC that's in a courthouse and I have to walk through metal detectors and if I had the, my old uh, steel-toed uh, boots then uh, that they usually set the, those detectors off so these ones will not set off metal detectors and that's always a big plus in my book now I like the laces on these boots because they're not as smooth as for instance these laces on these Columbia day hikers that I have these always seem to come loose and undone when I'm hiking and that really became annoying and uh, I think it has to do with their kind of just smoothness factor and uh, these laces are not that smooth and they're not as thin either as the uh, the ones on my hunting boots you can see they're they're really thin as well and you can see the difference in the, the eyelet designs here too what is kind of hook eyelet design and I'll give you a close-up here of the, the magnum boots eyelets These are really good because they fit your foot and your ankle very good and a very snug fit. And the design also makes it so that these laces don't come undone. And that's very important if you have to, to run uh, and, or if you're walking for long distances as well. So the design of these eyelets are really outstanding, top notch I think. Now in terms of the inside of the boot, as you can see, it's a little bit thicker than some boots. Uh, it's got foam padded liner in here. Uh, and the tongue goes up to about to about here. Uh, but if you snug it up nice, 
um, then you won't have water coming in and that's a good thing with the waterproof factor um, and inside these boots also have a um, what they call a uniform self-molding self -molding, uh, footbed that conforms to your feet and uh, I have pretty finicky feet um, so um, that kind of mold padding really works it, they really conform to my feet and it made walking really comfortable um, I have another pair of kind of hikers or boots here These converse ones, they kind of come up at an angle here where my, where my heel is and it becomes really uncomfortable. And I guess these are primarily made towards running, maybe running and gunning, but um, I didn't like that. And the, uh, the Magnum ones, they don't do that, even though it kind of looks like they come up, but they really don't come up a lot in the heel, which is a good thing. Now the sole is made by Vibram and um, as you can see there's the lugs and the sole gives you great traction uh, as well as I, I got the friction that I needed on a variety of surfaces and um, as you can see they're also oil and slip resistant. What I like about these boots is that they're stiff, they were stiff enough to give me the support that I needed, yet flexible enough to facilitate, you know, the natural walking movement and motion of my feet and ankles. Uh, in fact, they were so comfortable, uh, as I showed you, when I, I could even bike in these, uh, as I did in Sweden. Uh, so, um, very, very flexible, but still rigid enough, especially this bottom part here to really give you good support um, and the foam padded collar and tongue and the lining they'll keep you warm and dry during uh, uh, winter weather and colder weather um, and like I said these are waterproof and they're a little thicker than uh, other duty boots so I would suggest using these boots in an environment that's wet and cold uh, or temperate and uh, I would not suggest these for for hot weather environments uh, like a desert or so I think they would just be too too hot for you to wear uh, in those kinds of environments but like I said um, Magnum um, sent these boots to me for uh, uh, you know as a promotional item to test and test I did for a very long time and I must say that uh, I love these boots. These are probably my best boots. And I don't, I'm not saying that because it was a promotional item. I'm saying that because they really are the most comfortable boots that I've worn. And I have worn, like, you, like I showed you my, some of my boots I have. Those were just half the boots I had in the beginning. But I've worn a lot of boots. And these are definitely in my top five boots. Uh, right next to my Ultimas and my Red Wings. So, if you're looking for a good boot, you can't go wrong uh, with the Elite Force 8.0 WPI, especially if you're going to be cold and wet.